जय भारत टू ऑल स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट थ्री टू फोर लेक्चर वी हैव से डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्राफ एंड वी हैव सीन नंबर ऑफ डेफिनेशन रिलेटेड टू ग्राफ सो इन नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ग्राफ ओके इन फर्स्ट and second lecture we have discussed uh, revision of matrix and vector okay so now uh, we will require the basics of matrix in this uh, portion matrix representation of graph okay so the, uh, in the, uh, today's lecture we will see how can we uh, convert graph into matrix form or oh, and uh, we will uh, discuss also some uh, example related to matrix representation okay so they have given some matrix and you have to convert them into graph or they have given the graph or you have to convert them into matrix form okay vice versa so uh, first of all uh, uh, let uh, we discuss a uh, revision of last lecture then uh, we will start with the our topic matrix representation okay so in last uh, i think uh, we have started with the uh, oh, yes agency and degree degree of vertex okay so let's take a quick revision then uh, we can start with the matrix representation okay uh, we said that two vertices v and w of graph are adjacent if there is a edge v w joining them okay so we have uh, one common edge between two vertex so it's called adjacent vertices okay and uh, v and w are then incident with uh, such an edge okay we also say that two distinct edges e and f are adjacent if they have vertex in common okay the this uh, two edges have vertex in common like just say p okay so one vertex is common between two edges okay so it's called adjacent edges adjacent means near nearer vertices or nearer edges okay nearer vertices means uh, they have common uh, one uh, have common edge joining them and adjacent edges means one vertex is common between two edge okay then we have discussed how to calculate degree of vertex okay our uh, degree of vertex is a number of edges okay number of, we have to calculate number of edges okay for particular vertex okay and if it is a loop then you have to count as a two okay so this two are the condition degree of vertex means only count the number of edges for particular vertex but if it is a vertex has a loop then we have uh, count uh, degree of vertex uh, we have to add plus two okay and then we have seen two def, uh, different definition if vertex of degree is zero then isolated isolated means uh, far okay isolated vertex and a vertex of degree of 1 is called n vertex last vertex okay which has a only one edges so uh, degree of vertex is 1 okay let's say this uh, for this vertex Uh, uh how many uh, edges are there one okay so uh, degree of vertex is one for this vertex how many edges there one and two so two 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 and again one okay so this two uh, vertex which has a uh, degree of vertex as a one it's called n vertex last uh, vertex n vertex uh this vertex has a two edge one and two so degree of vertex two Again two, again two. This has a only one edge, so these both are the n matrix. Ah, uh, sorry, n vertex. Okay, a uh, little bit complicated. Complicated. For u vertex, how many edges? One, two, and three. Z only one edges. W one, two, three, four, five, six, and V. okay a uh, common edge 1 2 3 and 4 but uh, here we have two loop okay so for uh, uh, loop we have to count as a 2 so here is a two loop uh, so 2 plus 2 4 and total is 
for this graph degree of vertex for uh, v vertex degree of vertex is 8 okay so like this you have come and uh, if you want to write down you have to write down in sequence okay in ascending order increasing order ascending order okay like this 1 1 2 2 2 1 3 6 8 okay 1 3 6 8 okay then we have seen one theorem hand shaking lemma and second lemma say in any graph the sum of all the vertex degree is even number why even number because uh, we have count this edge is count two times yes one with this vertex one with this vertex okay so all the edges are count with two times okay because they have two vertex okay so uh, for v vertex this edge count as a one and for u vertex this is count also as a one okay so for any uh, number of edges we have to count two so uh, if we add all the vertex uh, degree of vertex number then it's even number why because it count as a two so any number multiplied by two it is also uh, always even number okay and uh, then theorem two uh, same as this theorem in any graph the number of vertices of odd degree is even okay number of vertices of all degree okay uh, odd number so then uh, we have uh, we have add then it's a uh, even number okay so odd degree is even so this two, uh, two theorem we have seen then subgraph subgraph h is a h is subgraph of graph g if each of vertices belong to the v of g and each of its edges belong to the e of g okay it's mini part subgraph means mini part uh, vertices uh, are same and edges also is same vertices and edges is same it's called subgraph okay so let's say this is a graph so if uh, you can put like this yes this is a uh, our you can put like this okay so uh, this is the subgraph of this graph okay this edge graph and g so h is called subgraph of g but uh, if uh, let's say this is a v graph it is not a subgraph of this why because here uh, they have not given any vertex okay so we cannot uh, do not draw in like this okay all the vertex and all the edges you can also obtain subgraph by uh, deleting edges and vertices we already seen okay if we delete these edges they are uh, we, uh, we have obtained this graph okay so this graph is also a subgraph of this and uh, if we remove edges it's called g minus e graph okay so uh, let's say um, if this is a f edges f and we have to remove f edges so uh, our new graph will become like this okay and its graph is called g minus f okay so if you uh, delete any edges then uh, that graph name should be like this g minus e okay now let's say uh, if i'm delete vertex okay here uh, this graph we have deleted edge now let's say we uh, we want to delete vertex okay here they have delete vertex v okay so you, you have to delete all the edges uh, uh, in connect with the v why because edges are not uh, alone okay for edges two vertexes are there okay so uh, we have to remove all the edges uh, connecting to the that vertex okay so they have removed all the edges connected to that vertex okay and it's called g minus v okay so if we remove uh, edge then we have to only remove edge now if you want to remove vertex then you also have to remove uh, edges related to that vertex okay now a uh, complement of simple graph okay uh, complement means uh, uh, we already discuss in matrix uh, what is the matrix of complement it is okay or you can say a, a bar okay so a uh, complement is uh, means simple graph with a vertex v of g is complement g bar is a simple graph with vertex v of g in which two vertices are adjacent if and only if they are not adjacent in g okay we already discussed in uh, 
previous that what is adjacent uh, adjacent okay uh, they have uh, edge joining them okay so what the new graph will become if there is a no edge between two vertex then we have to draw edges between that type of vertex okay so here we have uh, do not have any what uh, edges joining u and v vertex so we have to connect u and v okay now here uh, v and x also uh, do not connect with one edges so we have to connect v and x also x and u also okay so we have to connect and also y and w okay means complement is its reverse graph okay so uh, if uh, there are there is a edge between two vertex then and in complement there is a no edge between that two vertex if there is a no what uh, edges then we have to draw edges between that vertex okay now let's start with our topic of matrix representation okay although it's convenient to represent a graph by diagram of point joining by line okay uh, such a represent may be unsuitable if we wish to store large graph okay if let's say there is a large graph and we have to store that data that uh, which vertex is jo joining with which edges okay so um, store uh, we have to store large data okay but uh, if we convert that graph in matrix okay so we can store uh, many matrix okay in a uh, computer one way of storing a simple graph is by listing the vertices adjacent to each vertex of the graph okay let's just like say let's take vertex u okay so u vertex jm uh, which uh, vertex are joining with them which are the adjacent vertex which have common edge okay v and u v and y okay now let's take next vertex v v jm uh, which edges are connecting with the v vertex w y and u okay so u w and y okay okay then next vertex w so what are the edges connected with the w one is v one is y and one is x here you can see that v x y then x x is connected with the y and w only and uh, y is connected with u v w and x all other vector uh, vertex is connected with the y okay so the, uh, this is a one method to uh, represent a matrix by uh, sorry a uh, represented a graph like this okay now let's say uh, if you want to store a matrix as a graph okay so there are uh, two matrix you can store for uh, convert the graph into matrix okay one is agency matrix and uh, one is incidence matrix okay let's say what is a uh, agency matrix and what is a incident okay first of all one condition are there graph is have to without loop then you can convert graph into uh, matrix okay so first of all uh, one condition is there get that uh, g is the graph without uh, loops okay and vertex is label as a 1 to n okay here we have vertex label as a uvw uh, as a uh, abcd okay but uh, for the uh, matrix represent you have to uh, label vertices as a 1 to n okay so here 1 2 3 any number you can write down but you have to write down in a number form okay starting with the 1 okay then if there is n vertex then uh, if you want to co convert matrix in then new matrix will become n minus uh, n into n matrix okay let's say uh, the uh, for this graph the here is a one two three four five graph okay so uh, if you want to transfer this matrix into graph then our matrix should be five by five okay we uh, we have to know that how uh, many row and column are there to convert uh, uh, graph into matrix okay so if there is a five mat uh, vertex then uh, 
matrix should be 5 by 5 if there is a four matrix or uh, sorry four vertex then the uh, matrix uh, is 4 by 4 matrix okay now how uh, we have to uh, get the number in uh, matrix okay so first of all agency uh, matrix okay agency matrix a is the n by n matrix whose i th and j th entry is the number of edges joining vertex i and the vertex g okay you have to calculate number of edges okay uh, if this uh, definition is a little bit difficult so we can start with example so you can get the better idea okay we will start with this uh, example also okay okay here we have given one two three four and five okay we have given the number okay now uh, we uh, already know that uh, matrix would be five by five matrix okay we have one two three four and five here also two three four and five two three four and five two three four and five. okay it, uh, this is a five by five matrix okay now uh what value we have to add that uh, matrix is complete okay for let's start with the first matrix okay and uh, now in matrix we have uh, given the name okay like say this is the first row first column so we have to we have write down like this yes do you remember this one one first is a write down as a row and the second value is write down as a column okay now let's say if you uh, for this number it's called a uh, here is a first row and fourth column a one four now here this is a like a third row and the third column a three three okay well, first you have to write down row and column okay now here okay now and uh, this is called a five 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 fifth row fifth column okay now we have to put the value in all the uh, spaces okay so matrix can be complete okay first of all this is called one one okay here one and uh, here we have do not have any loop okay so number of edges we have to only count number of edges okay so number of edges count with the one one it's zero then uh, here uh, it's called one two uh, first row two column okay so number one is here number two is here how many edges are there between one and two one okay here one yes you have to only count number of edges between them okay here our third space is uh, first row third column so here what is the number of, uh, how many edges are there one and three between okay there is no edges okay so it will become zero yes okay and now a one four first row fourth column okay here uh, one is there and here four how many edges no edges zero one and five one edges okay so only you have to count the number of edges between them okay but with the help of this num uh, first row second row first column second column okay you have to count as a first row and second column okay now let's say second row and first column okay so second uh, our second number is uh, here second row and first column so how many edges there are there between two and one one then second row second column second row second column means zero we have, do not have any loop uh, second row third column second row and third column two and three one second row fourth column two and four zero edges second row fifth column one edges third row first column third row here first column no edges zero third row and uh, second column one edges third row and third column so zero we do not have any loop third row fourth column so one edges here we have only have 
do not have multiple edges okay so our matrix represent should be 0 and 1 also okay so let's start with uh, the, this given example so you can get the better idea okay adjacent matrix okay here they have given uh, vertex name as a 1 2 3 4 okay here our first 1 1 matrix 1 1 okay first row first column okay so 1 1 with no loop so 0 uh, second first row second column we have number of edges is a 1 uh, first row third column first row and third column and no edges are there so 0 first row fourth column first row and four one edges are there okay number of edges you have to count number of edges okay second column sorry second row first column so how many edges are there one second row second column zero okay uh, so you can see that here all the diagonal value are should be zero why because uh, it's a uh, second row second column third row third column fourth row four here uh, we have to uh, one condition is there is a with no loops okay so if we want to convert graph into matrix then all the diagonal value should be zero okay there is no edges between 2 and 2, 3 and 3, okay. Then, uh, uh, second row, third column, second row and third column have, have edges 1. Then, uh, second uh, row, fourth column, second row and 4. Here, we have 2 edges, okay. So, number of edges is a 2, simple, okay. So, simple, we have to count number of edges between 2 vertex with the help of matrix representation one row first row first column second row second column okay let's say this two okay so how many uh, this is a fourth row and second column okay fourth and two two edges okay yes we got the right answer okay so this is a, a matrix represent adjacent matrix this is called adjacency matrix okay now let's Incidence matrix, second matrix, representation of second matrix, incidence matrix. Now, okay, uh, now here we have write down a number of uh, vertex is a 1 to n, okay. Also, we are uh, for incidence matrix, we have to write down edges with the label as a 1 to m. Okay, here the edge is 1, 2, 3. You can uh, write down anything like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, anything number. But but you have to start with the 1. Okay, so here for figure, you first of all, you have to give the name of uh, vertex and edges as a 1 to N and 1 to M. Okay, so incidence matrix will become N by N. N by M. Okay, here uh, we have 4 vertex how many edges are there six okay so four by six matrix is uh, generated with uh, it for incidence matrix okay here in agency matrix we have to only calculate the vertex so our matrix will, uh, will be four by four only n by n but for incidence uh, matrix generated is n by m now uh, what are the value of n by m was i n Z entry is 1 if vertex i is incident to the edge j okay here we have only uh, two entry 1 and 0 for in incidence matrix okay so what will they say that i and z term will be incident to the edge incident means near okay Okay, so let's start with example so you can get the better idea. Okay, let's start with our here first row, first column. Here it's called I and this is called J. Okay, so definition says vertex I. We have to calculate vertex I. So one is a vertex and edge J. 
एच वन इज वर्ट एक्स एंड सेकेंड इज एच सो यू हैव टू कैलकुल से दैट रो एज अ वर्ट एक्स कॉलम एज अ एच ओके सो फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम ओके एंड यू हैव टू चेक इंसिडेंट इंसिडेंट मीन्स नियर ओके फर्स्ट नंबर वर्ट एक्स एंड फर्स्ट नंबर ऑफ एज ओके सो दिस इज अ इंसिडेंट इट्स अ कनेक्ट विद द वर्ट एक्स एंड एज सो इट शुड बी वन ओके देन फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड कॉलम ओके हियर आवर वर्ट एक्स विल रिमेन सेम वर्ट एक्स इज वन बट आवर रो इज टू सो एज यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एज एज ए टू सो दिस इज नॉट कनेक्टेड वन नंबर ऑफ वन वर्ट एक्स एंड सेकेंड नंबर ऑफ एज ओके सो जीरो देन वन एंड थ्री वन मै वर्ट एक्स नंबर वन वर्ट एक्स एंड नंबर थ्री एज इज ओके यू हैव टू टेक आई एज अ वर्ट एक्स एंड जे एज अ एज एज ओके हियर थ्री नंबर थ्री एज इज सो इट्स जीरो देन अगेन वन रो फोर्थ कॉलम ओके वन वर्ट एक्स फोर्थ नंबर ऑफ एज ओके सो दिस इज अ कनेक्टेड ओके सो इट्स सेड वन देन वन एंड फाइव जीरो ओके दिस इज नॉट कनेक्टेड एंड वन एंड सिक्स ऑल्सो जीरो ओके सो गेट द आइडिया सो यू हैव टू चेक वर्ट एक्स एंड एज इज इज द कनेक्टेड और नॉट If it is a connected, then you have to write one. If it is a not connected, then you have to write as a zero, one and zero. Okay. But in a uh, adjacency matrix, you have to calculate number of edges. Okay. So value should be three, four, anything. But here, instead of messy, you only have two value, one and zero. It's either one or it's either zero. Okay. Let's say second row. ओके दिस इज अ सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम ओके सो यू हैव नाउ वी हैव वर्ट एक्स एज अ नंबर टू सेकेंड वर्ट एक्स एंड एज एज अ वन ओके दिस इज कनेक्टेड सो वन सेकेंड वर्ट एक्स सेकेंड एज इज दिस इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड वन सेकेंड वर्ट एक्स एंड थर्ड एज इज दिस इज नॉट कनेक्टेड जीरो सेकेंड वर्ट एक्स एंड फोर्थ एज इज दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट कनेक्टेड जीरो नाउ सेकेंड वर्ट एक्स एंड फिफ्थ एज इट्स कनेक्टेड वन second vertex six edges it is also connected so one okay so this is called incidence matrix adjacency matrix and incidence matrix okay so this is a matrix representation of any graph without loop okay you have to uh, remember condition graph g is the without loops okay now uh, here it is your uh, today's uh, question okay write down adjacency and incidence matrix of given graph you have to write down uh, draw adjacency and incidence matrix of given this graph okay in next lecture we also uh, discuss this uh, topic again okay so if uh, uh, any doubt you can message me okay for this particular topic uh, today this is your assignment question you have to write it down in pen uh, sorry page for book and upload it in red and white application okay agency and incident matrix of given graph okay, so now today's uh, lecture is completed